Can Can grew up on the streets of Singapore. As a community cat, he was fed by animal lovers in the area, but even then, the life of a community cat is very tough and full of risks and uncertainty. One day in 2011, Ken Ken was badly injured in Ubi Avenue 1, an industrial estate in Singapore. Ken Ken's back was badly burned by hot liquid, believed to be intentional cat abuse and not an accident. Ken Ken's wounds eventually healed, but his skin was so badly burnt that his fur can no longer grow back. The rescuers decided it was too dangerous for Ken Ken to return to the streets and a shelter agreed to take in Ken Ken. The shelter that adopted Ken Ken is Medicats. It is a private self-funded no-kill shelter where the dog and cat residents receive food, medical attention, and most important of all, lots of loving care from Miss Lee and her group of volunteers. In June 2013, Miss Lee introduced Ken Ken to us, and it was love at first sight. After discussing with Medicats, we decided to have Ken Ken as the resident cat at Animal Human Alliance, or AHA. Our pet food business that advocates adoption and does not sell animals. Ken Ken has settled in very well in AHA, and despite his near fatal abuse, Ken Ken is still trusting towards humans and allows them to touch hug or to cuddle him and purrs very fast when shown affection. Six months later we felt it would be good for Ken Ken to have a companion and so we decided to adopt another cat. Medicats recommended Gold D as a cat that might suit Ken Ken's temperament. Gold D's owners abandoned him in a car park leaving him to fend for himself. Being very trusting and friendly to humans he was at high risk of abuse. Out of concern for his safety Medicats took him in. Medicats felt Gold D's easygoing nature would be a good match for Ken Ken, and so on 16 March 2014, Gold D arrived at AHA. Initially, Ken Ken was apprehensive, but after a few days, they warmed up and soon became very affectionate to one another. Ken Ken has accepted Gold D as his little brother. Ken Ken and Gold D are cats that many do not see as good adoption candidates. At eight years old, Ken Ken was considered too old, unlike a cute little kitten. Ken Ken also has a permanent scar from the abuse, and some consider that frightening or simply ugly. Furthermore, both Ken Ken and Gold D are FIV positive. There are many cats, dogs, and other animals out there like Ken Ken and Gold D waiting for permanent loving homes. Cats like humans want shelter, food, affection, they have feelings of happiness, anger, and also grief when, for example, their children are taken away from them. The best way to love them is to promote adoption of these rescued animals. Singapore is well known as a fine city, an expatriate paradise, and one of the most expensive cities in the world. Less known and less glamorous is a group of compassionate people who, despite challenges in their own lives, share whatever resources they have to care for animals feeding them and giving affection and medical care. We hope that Ken Ken and Goldie's story can inspire a compassionate society in Singapore and for people to see community animals as fellow beings and not as a nuisance.